If you weren't scared of the water, you will be now. You're going to have a whale of a time. Hey there guys, there's a, uh, sorry, I was told a joke right before coming in here and doing this video. We are on to the next CPU tournament, and this one I'm really excited for because it's, it's Dual Monsters slash GX oriented, but mainly Dual Monsters oriented, I would say. But this covers pretty much all the water duelists I've created, and that it already exists. Um, yeah, this is the, called the Found at Sea CPU tournament. Um, I know it's a pun on the Lost at Sea, uh, you know, saying or whatever title. This one's Found at Sea because this covers the Mako, finishes the Mako storyline where he finds his dad finally, Mr. Tsunami. So, can he find him? I don't know. We'll see. But either way, we'll see if they can even duel in the finals. Oh, I would love for them to be in the finals. It would be a feel-good finals. Another thing. Every matchup is best of three. Since there are only 14 duelists, every matchup is best of three. And these are the 14 duelists. So we got Crump, Darts, Ethan Shark, Frost, Gansley, Ironheart. <laughs> yes, Ironheart is a brand new duelist I made just for this tournament. Mad Dog, Mater D, Mako, Miho, Mr. Tsunami, so uh, Society of Light Alexis, because she used the water uh, ice deck. Strings. Yes, I know he has Slifer, but he's mainly a water deck. And Admiral. Alright, so let's get going. It's all been randomized, and the first best of three is Mad Dog versus Society of Light Alexis. I am going for Society of Light Alexis because I cannot stand Mad Dog. He was one of my least favorite characters in GX. Him in a silly voice. My mommy says I'm really strong. I do a terrible bad dog, by the way. <laughs> Hold Enchanter, great start. Did he just steal White Knight Dragon? I believe he did. Oh no. Uh, this is bad. That is a 2000 attack point gruesome goo. It's glitching a little bit. I don't know why, but it should subside in a second. You lost. I'm pretty sure Society of Light Alexis lost just because of that monster reborn. Guess his mommy was right, he is really strong. <laughs> no wonder this guy almost beat Zane. Alexis doesn't stand a chance. Come on, Dark Hole, Mirror Force. Oh, she got a worse one. There we go, okay. There we go. Oh. Yeah, but. His, his uh, spell do actually weakens his Metal Reflect Slime, so it's not totally impossible to get by it. Okay, maybe it is now. 
Wetlands, that's his uh, secret weapon card. All his level 2 or lower water monsters get a 1200 attack point buff. Oh, very good. Okay. Can she come back with 100 life points? I would love to see this. This would be gigantic. Machine. Yep, he'll keep using this. That's a good way to come back, Alexis. Alexis definitely, she's got the upper hand now. Uh-oh. Yep. All her cards count as machines now because of DNA surgery. That's his combo. If y'all want to know what Last Machine Acid Virus does, that's what it does. His only anime card that exists in these games. So first duel the Mad Dog. I really thought she'd make the comeback, but... Well, she can still make a comeback. It's just gonna be difficult. She's 138, if I recall correctly. Shouldn't have my own decks I made. 138, I was right. I want to see Alexis win this and then come all the way back. Come on. He is pretty good with, the, with that combo, but I think he got lucky he drew those exact cards he needed. Oh, sorry. I think the main thing here is, no matter what, I want to see Mako and Mr. Tsunami duel. It'd be a feel-good duel for everyone. He gets to reunite with his dad. Second time he's stolen her monster. Alexis. Uh, I used to use that snowman eater card. Alexis. Alexis. I used to use it in my flip effect deck. Now, depending on what he draws, if he draws Dark Hole or Mirror Force, he can easily make a comeback. That's why I'm not counting the victory for her yet. Okay, Dark Hole. Yeah, so he's made a comeback. Okay, yep, Revival Jam, one of his best cards. There's a comeback, just like that. All his slimes and jams are annoying. Hmm, that must be another good trap. If he's doing that. What is that trap he protected? Fascinating. He's definitely not out of this. I don't trust those traps he has. No? Torrential Reborn. Ah. Can't use Revival Jam. Okay. Comes down to this. Yep. Oh, no way. <laughs> yeah, but they're even. Look, defense and attack even. Oh, well, well, that was a mistake. Okay, he beat himself. Good. <laughs> So the AI doesn't understand. Good. Huh. 
Interesting, the AI doesn't understand that she doesn't own machines. Okay, we're going to game three. Sweet. And yes, I'm having to write this down. It's hard to remember best of three sometimes. Don't don't judge me. <laughs> I'm really excited to see how how well Mr. Tsunami and uh, Ironheart do. The new decks I made for them. Really pumped. I just cleared spaces for their decks. We're having a full out water tournament where I want to see all the best water cards come out. You better believe it. Get ready for a lot of Torrential Tributes. You know Torrential Tributes going to be the MVP of this tournament. He doesn't understand. He's giving up all his cards. Is, I would have got Cold Enchanter, but okay. Yep. Oh, uh, there it is. Like I said. That card, that Gemini card that uh, Mad Dog has. Oh, she does have a machine? Assuming Creator's a machine? I never realized that. But that metal, magical, reflect slime thing that Mad Dog has, it like basically inflicts damage to you instead. So it's like a worse swordswoman. Worse uh, Amazon swordswoman. Nice hit. Oh, and that was a special summon dude, yep. Looking good. Sitting pretty, Alexis. But she usually does. Huh. That's the one time there that that card really is gonna work good. Hit the, the melting red shatter is only good with wet lands out. And she can still take him out anyway. She's got 100 more points and that's all that matters. This is it, Mirror Forces. Okay, Dark Hole's pretty good. Hmm, kind of a tight duel. Okay, I have no idea what his traps were, but that was kind of close. I was kind of worried there for a second, but Alexis does advance, thank goodness. Let me, uh, I'm just writing her down real quick. Okay, so who will duel her? Oh, hold on, let me, uh... Who will duel Society of Light Alexis? Mater D or Mr. Tsunami? I'm really, really counting on you, Mr. Tsunami. Come on, you can do it. Make your, make your son proud. After coming back after all this time on the ocean, you should be well hardened to take any water deck there is to throw at you. Even Mater D's. Definitely go Mr. Tsunami here. with an appetite is very appropriate for Mater D. Fits into a T. Mater D, I don't remember. There he is. 140. Okay.
Mr. Tsunami actually is near the top. It's in the 50s? Yeah, 55. He's in Bastion's old spot I had, but I moved him. Let's go. So you're probably asking yourself, what does Mr. Tsunami use? Well, he uses a water deck, like pretty similar to Mako's, except it's not going too well so far. No, it is not. This is terrible start. Okay, good. That card acts like... You're kidding me, right? <laughs> that card was going to be like his Umi. There. That card, yeah. It gets him his boss, Cranium Fish. That's called Ocean's Keeper. Y'all ever seen it? That's basically his boss, Cranium Fish. Since he gave his son Legendary Fisherman, he has to use his own water deck. Dang, Yummy Ship, that was a good move. Yep, basically water new version of New Doria. Starboy, that only helps your opponent. Oh no. Kodaris, that's really good with Emmy, but he cannot seem to get a uh, legendary ocean. Very weird. Hmm, he has struggled this whole duel. Dark Hole's very good, but no monsters. He finally ran out at the wrong time. Dang, man. That's game. Okay. He may be going out early. He didn't get anything of what he needed. Alright, we're going to game two. Actually, I forget how strong Mater D is. This may be tough for him. For, uh, Mr. Tsunami. Come on, Mr. Tsunami. You can do it. You can do it. This tournament was basically made for you and Ironheart and Mako. There. Finally. Got his star he wanted, but he keeps defending. It's like he doesn't have any beaters. There it is. Ocean's Keeper. Warrior of Atlantis, yeah. Still beats... No, it doesn't. Oh, the freaking Chalice. That card is really owning him. This is so bad right now. Come on, don't let him beat you like this. At least he's exactly at 4,000. Maybe he can get a good Destiny draw. Mirror Force would be best. Got the worst one. Oh, that was a good move. But you have nothing else? Nothing? Oh, we got so lucky. And no mon- what? No monsters? There's his new monster. Uminotaurus. Taurus. Uminotaurus. It does piercing for all- basically all water monsters. No! Ugh. That's painful. Another Aqua Spirit. Everything Mr. Tsunami does, nothing seems to work. 
Okay, does, does he finally have some control over this duel? Maybe. We know he doesn't have Mirror Force anymore. Okay, finally. He actually has some control over this duel. Yep, he's ahead by 50. Exactly 50. That's gotta be TT face down. Sweet. Okay, he won this. Freakia. Yeah. Tsunami. Tsunami. Come on. Oh, I'm just writing down who won this. Gotta keep track of the score, you know? On to game three. I believe in you, Mr. Tsunami. You didn't come all the you didn't come out of retirement out of the you didn't come off the water on land for the first time in like I don't know. First time in years for this. For nothing. Terror King Summon is an amazing start. Burden of the Mighty, that's gonna cause some problems. Uguchi does nothing. And this card can attack twice, by the way. Yep. That's like a second Umi. That forgotten temple card. Dang, you lose your double attacker. Because that annoying burden of the mighty. But you still do have that for him. Oh, there's a Chalice card. The Chalice card has single-handedly kept him in this duel. If he ever gets his Crab Turtle, he is in big danger. Ooh, backfired, did it? Yes, it did. See what you got with your brand new hand. Yep. Uh, okay, no, actually. No, okay, that's fine. I guess it's okay. Piercing. That's a really good card with uh, his Sea Serpent deck. Amazing card. Okay, I'll tell you this. That's, that's a mirror. Oh, you messed up. That's a mirror force. Should have kept your Ocean's Keeper. And look at you now. Island Turtle in... Oh, well, no, I guess it's okay. Not really, though. Oh, is that game? Is that why he's doing it? I think that's game. No, no, it's not. Okay. So you have one turn and you're facing down a monster with 2,700 attack points. Dark Hole. No. Not what you wanted to see. What are you doing? I really, really hope you... Okay, you have a trap. It better be... I mean, if it doesn't summon an STT, it doesn't make a difference. It's TT. No, it's that Forgotten Temple card. Dang. Mr. Tsunami is eliminated. Mater D advances. Huh. It's Mater D versus Society of Light Alexis. It's a, it's a plot duel from Season 2. Mater D advances. He'll see us then later, don't worry. I have a plan. 
So let's see if Mago can make it to the end at least. Um, Darts and Ironheart. Darts is my second pick to win this. Other than Mako or Mr. Tsunami, then I would have darts. Uh, darts versus his dad, I did not plan this. I promise you. I don't care who wins. It's just going to be fun to say. I guess darts, if I had to pick. Forget why I put him. I think in the 60s. Yeah, there he is, 61. Father versus son. For the right to rule Atlantis. That card kind of looks like Atlantis, Lemuria. He hit his own mirror force. I'm not sure why you did that. So far, a terrible start for the AI. I'm, you're about to see what kind of deck Darts' dad uses. There it is. That's right. Folks, he uses an Atlantean deck. There's another one. The attack squad goes in. Ah, Shunaros there. Bow before the Oli Catalicos dead. Dang. Can he free his son from the Ori Calcos? We have no idea. Dang, he still has a tax squad. What is that, Diamond Dust? Oh, that's an amazing card for this tournament. Because it destroys basically everything. Everyone has water monsters. If he makes it far in here, it'll probably be because of that card. It gives him the upper hand. Can't draw next turn. Basically an end of turn. Side wave, nice. Another Poseidon wave. Bubble bringer. Holy moly. But you see, Legendary Ocean actually counters Bubble bringer because it makes him one level less. Oh, that was an amazing move. Oh, but he, you didn't expect your son to have Mirror Force, did you? That does that? Dang, Bubble Bringer is a good card. Too bad I only buys you one turn. Impressive try. Or he also has an Atlantean Pikeman. Ah, the seal. He wants to take his dad's soul. That is so mean. He did that just to take his dad's soul. Cue the Ori Calcos theme. 
Ertz takes the first duel. Duel two, let's go. I want to see Ironheart put up a fight here. Okay, that he's listening so far. That's pretty good. That's whoa. He used his whole hand, I'd be careful. Yeah, see. Got Mirror Force, always. Can't draw next turn either. Draw face skip, basically end your turn. Wow, no way, yeah, Bubble Bringer. That's an okay move. Really can't seem to do much damage to darts. Darts has too much, like, offensive power. That was amazing. I would have actually waited for him to flip everything, though. That's fine. Actually, that was a pretty good move. I'll give it to, to Ironheart. That was an amazing move. Sine wave, nice. But what do you do after this? That's the real question. Bubble Bringer is the only reason he is still in this duel. Because his monsters are getting wiped out. Oh, he's level 2. Uh-oh. These are level 2. That's right. Uh-oh. That's 3800 with your name on it. So was he at uh, 400 left? Ah, oh, call the Atlanteans, okay. It's probably his best card in the whole deck. Call the Atlanteans. Three basically swarm the field with one card. It's pretty good. Yep. Did he get his boss? There it is. Poseidra, the Atlantean Dragon. And guess, check out his effect, guys. I mean, he's got a pretty stacked field right here. Are you freaking kidding me? He drew Shuner, I mean, he had Shuneros. <sighs> Two Shuneros? What the freak, man? And he can't attack the lower level, I mean the lower attack point monsters either. Crap. Ah. Nothing he could do is double Shunaros out, but he did at least summon Poseidon. 
Darts beats his dad too. Uh, I guess Darts was always better than his dad. That's why he was the successor. The king of Atlantis. <laughs> okay, Crump and Miho is next. Hold on, I had to do some real quick. I'm back. Darts advances. Who will duel him? Crump or Miho? <laughs> Should be an interesting matchup here. Duel Monster Season 3 versus Season 0. Actually, two big five members are in here because Gansley also uses a water deck. Mio's just fresh off the Queen of Games tournament. She did quite well. Oops, went too far, didn't I? Cold Wave, does that mean she can't use Future Fusion next turn? What does this mean for her? We know she can't use that trap, but what about... No, it doesn't work for, like, cards already out. Future Fusion should still work. And so does the Fields build. Huh, nice work. Gotta hand it to you, that was some pretty good work. That stinks. Hope you got a good trap of your end there. Wow. He outplayed her. Crump completely outplayed her. He didn't he only summoned one monster because he knew he only needed one. Crump is smart. Crump's smarter than Mr. Tsunami, who couldn't figure that out in a, in a couple duels before. Dang. Look at the big brain on Crump. There it is, his boss. The great Emperor Penguin. My numbers are right on the money. Sweet. Crump wins the first duel. Duel two. Can Mio make a comeback or will Crump dominate? Crump's been known to play well and he has, is the only big five member to win a tournament. So I gotta hand that to him.
Uh, he just countered everything she could do there. <laughs> and well, actually gave her a fresh hand there. That was also, that was smart and dumb. I would have never given her a fresh hand after that. She had almost nothing. What's that trap? Missing. This Poseidon wave? Huh. She's like, me too. I also have a Poseidon wave. Oh my gosh. This looks good. Mio doesn't want her fighting back. She doesn't want her body taken over by a creep. Creepy crump. Oh yeah, she's yeah okay, she's going hard mode now. That was dumb to summon flying penguin though. So that wait, did you you didn't use up all your uh, grizzlies, did you? Uh, maybe maybe he did. They both use very similar decks. They both have Cold Wave. They both have, uh, I think they both have TT. They both use Poseidon Wave. Oh, you should have waited one turn and you would have destroyed her. Just one turn, Crump, and you would have completely obliterated her. Oh, you idiot. Dude, he had a free Nightmare Penguin to return the Roaring Ocean Snake. I don't understand. Terrible move. What a comeback. No trap either. I think he lost. This is it for him. Yep. Alt Penguin. Nope. Goodbye, Crump. Crump loses duel two. Wow, we got a duel here, folks. We got a match. Well played, Miho. Well played. Amazing start from Crump. Amazing. And this is really the only game that makes a difference right now. Because you're, I mean, you're basically starting over. You each have one game apiece. One duel. Pretty good comeback from Miho. Water Magician's a cool card. This monster swamps an opponent with an almost endless supply of water. Oh yeah? Well, penguins love water. Ah, Nightmare. Oh, it can return traps? I forgot about that. Huh, completely forgot about that. Uh, that's nice. Nightmare Penguin's an amazing water card.
be having a little bit of trouble here. Just a little bit. Crump, if Crump were to win this tournament, it'd be very bad news. Or darts. Either one of them. They're the, the ones you don't want to win. <laughs> also, Frost. You don't want Frost to win. Mako, Miho. Basically, anyone, anyone else other than them is okay. Sorry, Miho. He's on the, is he going to finish her with the penguin? Not quite. Your very last turn. A spawn doesn't matter because everything's water. Yep. Dang. Miho is out. Crump advances, but expect nothing less from a former champion. Darts versus Crump. That's gonna be interesting. That is going to be interesting, but let me. All right, Crump. So we have two of our quarterfinal matchups, but let's continue on. Who will make it? Also make it to the quarterfinals. The Admiral from GX. You guys remember that guy? The the that's a lot of booty guy. <laughs> Um, and Ethan Shark. I'm sure you don't remember him. He, I created him a while ago. He's from season five. He's a bun. He's one of those bunch of no names from a uh, grand championship. And he does use a water deck. I'm assuming as he is the first character named Shark before Zexel Shark. So let's go Admiral versus Shark. Kind of torn here. I love the Admiral from GX. He's funny, but Shark is from DM, and I always go DM. Hmm. I don't know how to go for here. I'm kind of torn. Admiral, I don't, I don't remember where he is. He's somewhere around here. Oh, he's 98. Okay. I need to remember that. He's 98. Ethan Shark, you... Where is he? He's near the bottom, right? Yeah, there he is. Okay, 186. He's he's next to Ball Free Ginger. Another no name. Only reason I created him is because he he was one of the more interesting ones to me. I didn't want to make the Doctor Richard Goat because I already have a Doctor. And I made Ball Free Ginger because he is actually the only no name that made it to the semifinals. So I gotta hand it to him. He had to be somewhat good. He was the Harry Potter wannabe. I'm just imagining all these characters went on one boat uh, with Mako to find his dad. <laughs> Maybe they took the Admiral's boat. He did have a big boat. And a lot of booty. <laughs> that was a smart move. Dang, that's cool. You can put a you can change your position. Good move. Forced his hand. Okay, yeah, Ethan Shark in a lot of trouble now. And you can always bring it back in defense. Amazing play. That's a really smart play. Ooh, man, I, if he brought back on Shaven Angler, I knew he would have had his boss. Oh, now you do it. A little late for that. Mirror Force, oh my gosh. Oh, 
That's the one card doesn't, that doesn't get destroyed by Mirror Horse. Interesting. Huh. It's a one water monster that does not get destroyed by Mirror Horse. Forgot. It's basically like Umi's on the field, so yeah, double attack. That's the best you can do, your toast. Kodoris, yep, goodbye. Duel one with his boss goes to the Admiral. Get your game on. Loved his episode in season in GX season one. He had a great episode. Oh, I already have gold. Sweet. They know what I want. <laughs> uh, Admiral is 98, so... Ethan Shark, please win this duel. I want to see... I want to... That was kind of a... Smackdown duel. You got obliterated. I want to see you summon your boss here. I believe in you, Ethan Shark. I believe he was an Aussie, also. He only said like one line or something to Leon. Good on you, mate. Oh, fish depth charge. Pretty good. Yeah, can't get much better than that. Cyberstart, one of his best cards. That card attacks directly. Yeah, looks like Ethan has the upper hand here. Shark Kraken, nice. It's gotta be Mirror Force. It's bait. He's baiting you. Oh, and you fell for it. You so fell for it, yep. Dang, he was ready too. Okay, your play's way better here, Ethan. What is he? Why? Why an attack me? Dang. Nice. But if you don't have a trap, he still has that for him. Oh, you don't have a trap. Oh, amazing. That combo is the best. Okay, Ethan Shark wins duel two. That's actually not his boss. That's just kind of like his ace there. We're getting a lot of duel three, ma uh, three duel matches here. I'm impressed. The only one was that wasn't was uh, Darts and Ironheart. All right, so oh, Admiral, keep forgetting he's ninety-eight. Right, almost in the middle.
Come on, Ethan Shaw. Make your fellow Aussies proud. Make Valen and uh, Jim proud. Dude, he baited you. <laughs> he baited him. The AI doesn't know that that card's immune to Mirror Force. <laughs> what an idiot. What a digital dummy. There's his ace, Cyber Shark. Yeah, I'm loving this. Ethan's got the reins on this now. The Admiral doesn't know what to do. Oh, let, yep, but you see. That card is immune to the two best cards in everyone's deck. Amazing. Amazing. It's a shame he didn't have another monster. He ain't out of the just yet. Let's, oh, yeah, he about is. Yep. Say your prayers. No matter what you summon. Oh, no. That's actually, yeah, that works. Abyssal King Shark actually could dominate this tournament, believe it or not. Completely reversed on the Admiral and makes it to the quarterfinals. I'm just writing his name down. I need to remember all this stuff. It's hard to remember this, so. And now, who will meet Ethan Shark? in the semifinals, I mean in the quarterfinals, will it be the last duel of the first round, Frost or Gansley? Now, I hate Frost. I hate's a strong word, I seriously dislike Frost. He is my least favorite of the Light Brigade from GX. He always get on my nerves. Something about his accent, uh, it's something about his accent and the way, he, it's nothing against Hispanic people or anything. I know he had a Hispanic accent, but so the way he talked meanly, he was very mean, and he just, I don't know, he was very, uh, you know, self-righteous about his skills and stuff, and he, he was good, he was better than Thunder, but, eh, he, he was like a, a little fish, you know, working for a way bigger fish, that's what he seemed like to me. He did use Mobius, who was the best monarch, um, Gansley, I'm definitely going for you, because I think you're cooler. I'm definitely Team Gan uh, Gansley here. Join Crump in the quarterfinals. Maybe we'll have all big five uh, final. All right, so Frost. Number thirteen. Yep. It's ice water versus water reptiles. Just like fighting all over the ship, I guess. Maker's trying to calm them all down. He's like, hey, you forget we're here to find my dad. And they're all like, ah, we're going to duel. Free mirror force. I'll tell you what, that card ain't gonna work in the next round against Ethan Sharp. Gansley summons himself, by the way. No, all this work and no Mobius. Fascinating. With all that back row, you would think Frost would have the upper hand here. The more time Gansley stalls, the worse it will get for him. Because if Mobius... Oh, whoa. 
That's pretty good. If Mobius is summoned, you're going to be in a little bit of a trouble. I'm impressed he got his boss out, Silent Abyss. Oh, yes. Yeah, return that card. Destroy him. Is that enough damage? No. Is it? Wait. No, I should have flipped his other uh, Wall of Illusion. He would have won this turn. Huge mistake. That was foolish. He should have flipped the other Wall of Illusion. Let it be known, Gansley would have won that turn. Uh-oh, Mother Grizzly Search War. That leads to nothing. <laughs> Do you still not have... Where is Mobius? Dude, are they all at the bottom of his deck? Where the freak is Mobius? I hope that was worth it. Yeah, it was. Legendary Fisherman. I forgot he's the other duelist that has Legendary Fisherman. So Gansley does win the first duel. We could have two big five members in the quarterfinals. Fascinating. Frost, please knock his butt out. I, I really don't like Frost. This is a brutal, yeah, brutal. Completely brutal and unnecessary Gansling. Didn't have to do him like that. Oh, brutal. Completely unnecessary. This is gonna hurt. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, woo. Actually, huh, it was enough. I've actually ice water. Double ice water. Oh man, that stinks for him. See you, Frost. Swarm him. Show him the deal. Show him how big business works, Gansley. Show me you climbed your way up the corporate ladder. <laughs> I 
lucky. Man, he had an amazing hand there. So you guys got your fill of water cards today? Because we got a lot more to go. <laughs> a lot of water cards. And don't you worry, Mako will find his dad. And they will duel, I promise you, even though Mako's dad's out. Mako, not too sure about you, we'll see. I believe he has to duel strings next in the next round. There it is, final Mega Mobius. Huh. That's definitely probably going to buy him a ticket to the third duel. Dark hole. Not before that. Ooh, say goodbye to your silent abyss. But, except you chose the wrong monster. Should have got rid of that one. Out of attack. The AI sometimes get scared like that. Interesting. They're both scared because their points are low. Oh, see a legendary fisherman. That goes like, huh, you used that card too? Hey, my dad gave me that card. He was a great fisherman. Yeah, yeah, we've heard it a million times, Mako. <laughs> the whole crowd says. That was a big and very, very good and solemn judgment. Problem, Gansley, you just, yeah, you lost. Why did you do that? I will never understand what just happened there. Why did he do that? Gansley could have just defended. Okay, going to duel three. Gansley could have just defended, he would have been okay. His AI like broke there. Third duel, Frost or Gansley, who will go in to the next round? Whoops, did not mean to choose him. Come on, Gansley. I would think Gansley's deck was more consistent, so he should be the winner here. Mobius is good, but not consistent. He can't always rely on getting Mobius. Do or die time. Okay, nope. Doesn't have Mobius. Better hope he doesn't have Mirror Force. Okay, he doesn't. He got very lucky. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Get baited. Oh, attack with your very not powerful swarm. Yeah, 
Yep, can't draw used offerings to the doom. Alright, summons himself. The deep she wore a strong investment. Frost is so inconsistent. Where is Mobius? We all know what that is, right guys? Yep, the mighty mirror force. Saves his deck master yet again. He still doesn't have it. Moment of truth. Does he have anything? Nothing. Frost is out. He was very inconsistent. Only the Mega Monarch was summoned, not Mobius. So Gansley does advance and will duel Ethan Shirt. Thank goodness, because I, I cannot stand Frost. Alright. And with that, that will end the first round because Strings and Mako both get a buy. So we will start, we'll probably do two more videos and then end this half of the video. Well, what are we at? Already 70 minutes in. Let's do a couple more. Society of Light Alexis and Mater D. Let's go. Season two plot duel actually. Whoops. Whoops, forgot where she was. I'm gonna have to go way down. Oh boy, she's 138. And made her D. If I remember right, made her D obliterated her last time. Or was that regular Alexis? It may have been right, regular Alexis. That was a good TT. I told you. I thought we'd see more TTs, honestly, by now, but we've seen quite a few TTs. Behold, one of the only water machines you'll ever see. Whoa, that is a strong high tide Gyojin. And that is a dead Gyojin. Yeah, she's wide open. Go, 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 go. This is looking good. Very good for Mater D. 
I believe he'd be regular Alexis in the um, Society of Light tournament, but he'll complete the set if he beats her Society of Light Alexis here. Dead even. They're completely dead even. On turn 13, they're evenly matched. But he still has the upper hand. Yep. Goodbye. Her trap did nothing. First duel, the Mater D. They'll be like, passe. Still doesn't save you because look, you got a 2,000 attack point monster. And he's got your cold enchanter. What are you going to do, Alexis? White Veil, the card Sartorius gave you. But look. You're feeling you can't do anything. Your ice counter actually, yeah, made his monster stronger. So bravo. Snowman Eater. That will actually save you for one turn. Oh, what a comeback. What a comeback. Society of Light Alexis is like, I'm tired of being on this boat with all these losers. Mater D's like, too bad. I went anyway. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, I'm French. Mater D advances. Just writing down his name real quick. Who will duel Mater D? And this will be the final matchup of the video. Who will duel Mater D in the semifinals? Will it be darts or crump? I'm going darts, but crump winning, I wouldn't mind. It would be hilarious. And I could definitely see him winning. He's powerful. I'll make him this guy. Number 14. All I gotta say is good luck, Crump. Darts is very, very strong. Ironheart just, he tried. He just could not quite do anything to him. Yes, Nightmare Penguin. You stole your deck, Master Crump. What are you going to do about it? Oh, and he hit Regeki Break. Good, good hit.
from getting beaten by his own deck master, his own monster. Whoa. He almost made his heavy storm useless. Get rid of that annoying nightmare penguin. Get it back to your side. Good, good. Smart move, Crump. Problem. He has the seal now. Your soul is sealed. Defense, that's all you got. There's no way you got anything else. Oh man, this field is very scary. Is that is that penguin soldier I see face down? I believe it is. Okay. That was a genius move. That was genius. And then you threw him away. That was stupid. Oh, unless you have another. I'm guessing you have another. Yeah, you had two. I actually would have kept that other penguin soldier. See what I mean? It would have really served you well. Oh, oh, what? What a move. What a move. Crumb says, I'm not out of that shit. Whoops, I, I saw what he had. Nightmare Penguin. We're about to see if that was a smart move. No, it wasn't. Wait a second. Hold on. It all depends on if he can get, like, a strong monster. He needs a very strong monster. Mmm. He's fighting hard. Get it. Oh, oh, this changes everything. Oh, he lost Mirror Force. Holy crap. This is holy raw. This is an amazing duel. What a duel. Okay, wait. Yes. Crump. Crump's doing it. And he still has plenty of life points. Come on, Crump. Let's go. Let's go, Penguin Boy. Should I say, I'm sorry, Penguin Man. Ah, that's, oh my gosh. Magic Jammer. Crump's like, nope. My numbers don't calculate up to that. What a freaking duel. Cold Wave, don't expect to use any spells or traps. I think Crump's gonna do it. Crump's gonna come back on darts. He's gonna have to hunt harder the underdog a billion times. Nope. I think darts is toast. Attack correctly, yep, and you win. He did it. The best comeback of this tournament. And that was only the first duel, folks. Second duel, darts and crunt, let's go. Whoops, didn't mean to choose him. Like I said, I was going for darts, but crumb winning would be the, one of the biggest upsets, honestly. 
Darts hasn't won a tournament in a long time. Both of these guys haven't won in a long time, but they are both one-time champions. And Darts did get runner-up once, and he got to semifinals another time as well. There, can't use Sill anymore. Lightning Vortex on a Penguin Knight. You did not need to do that. That was a waste of Lightning Vortex. You're safe, as long as you don't summon, uh, well, no, you're not safe. This is where darts get scary. Like it's getting worse and worse. It's getting worse and worse. You attacked incorrectly. If he had just attacked correctly, he would have won right there. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Darts wins anyway. This face down was MST. We're going to duel three. Crump, you made that awesome comeback in that first duel. You can't lose after all that effort. He's like, oh, I dropped that one on purpose. It's all in my calculations. Darts is like, I'm gonna steal your soul, Penguin Man. This is it. Who goes to semifinals? And this is the last duel of the video. And we're gonna do part two. Here's your penguin soldier. Can you get rid of Dark Hole for that? That may lose darts the duel. You got rid of Dark Hole for that. Great start from Crump. Everything he almost everything he needs. If I were darts, I would just attack. Yeah. Uh, ah, that's why he doesn't. I see, I see. I should keep my mouth shut. This is getting good. Dang, all that effort from Crump. Come on, Crump. It ain't over just yet. Ooh, get ready for a lot of draw power, people. Yep, here it comes.
<laughs> That's, what's that, six cards right there? Eight cards. Count them with me. Ten cards. He's gonna draw ten cards off us. Holy raw. Ten cards drawn. There's no way Darts loses after that. The sudden wave. Yeah. But she, yeah, crumps out of options. He needs Morphing Jar. Only way he gets, or Darts decks out. That's the only way he gets back in this. I don't see that happening. Your soul is mine. <laughs> Ouch. That's the duel. No, Crump. Dun, 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 dun. Darts advances, but I honestly expect no less. He's darts. He's freaking darts. The biggest bad of dual monsters. Not the biggest bad. That was Bakora, but he was honestly the strongest duelist of the villains. So we are going to end the video there because we will do part two after this. And I'll see you for part two. Bye, guys.